So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and this is our old friend Noob Dude O One. I actually said it right. Yay! Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is about his name for some reason. I'm, I'm terrible with names. Full stop. So you know. Anyway, he is on proper Ofka. He is in a wonderful Russian Tier Nine heavy tank, the T10. T10 I loved even uh, before it got significantly buffed in a couple of patches ago, something like that. Um, I thought I loved it. It's a very, very mobile heavy tank. It moves around very rapidly. They've buffed its uh, armor. It has a really good uh, turret um, and a very, very good gun. So, you know, what's not to like about it? Hmm? So, as I say, we're on proper off uh, He's got to watch himself. There are two artillery, and they love splashing big, heavy things. Um, can he get a shot? Whenever I do this, I get absolutely annihilated. He pokes over, puts a beautiful shot in the T21. Big hit. Ne nearly 500 damage with that, no, that shot. Very good. You can see the power of this gun. He's moving. That's what you've got to do on this middle section. Uh, when you're poking the middle, you need to keep moving. Make it erratic as well. Don't be predictable where you're popping up. He's going for this guy. Oh, there's a, a Conqueror and a T-34 and a Tiger too. So the beauty of this middle point, especially if you've got a turret, a, a gun with gun with good accuracy, but also a, a tank with a good turret is that uh, you can get shots across of people trying to climb the base of that hill. Now it looks like our T29 is doing a really good job in terms of spotting what's there. In a minute he'll spot. Yeah, so you do, dude is asking for uh, somebody to spot the hill, which is uh, kind of what you need when you're in this sort of position. Oh my word, hit the side of, I guess that hit the side of the IS-3's turret. Looks a really high shot and yet side on it went straight through it now, such is the pen of this and another one there's a bit of a um, looks like there's a bit of a bug again on the re on the um, replay of the recording you can't see the outlines of the tanks really good shot there again snapshot you can see the variety he did 499 on one shot that shot did 360 362 so the huge variation in the uh, RNG on that, but that M M103 is really, really regretting going up there. And uh, Noob's impromptu clan mate takes him down. So, it's 4-0. His team are absolutely rumple stomping. There's one of a soft, squishy medium tanks over there. Can he predict where he's going to be? No, missed him. Missed him. That was a hard shot. From that kind of range, really hard. And you have clawed one back. A noob thinks it's time to move on. Oh, there is a T32. He's been spotted. Nice hit. Nice hit. Needs to get off the hill quick. Oh, there's a conqueror. Not paying attention. And he takes a big hit from the ST. Well, not a big hit, but a hit from the SDA2. Gets down. Or oh, trying to get down to get his armor or get his hull in a position where it can bounce a shot. Bounces a shot from the VK. That was a bit hopeful. He's heading for this uh, Rex Tiger 2. Yeah, bouncing shots left, right and centre. He's got enemy all round. He's in a little bit of a... A bit too advanced. Bounced off the AMX. And look at the shots bouncing everywhere. You can see, if you can get that... If you can hide your lower plate in this thing, you can have a field day. It will bounce shots. Not that IS-3 because he's side on. Oh, well, that's nasty. But the I-3 is going to pay for it. And he does. So now that's got rid of the tank from his flank. Now he can he can hold these guys all day. He's side scraping on this dead tank. He's using his, hull, his turret armor. Unlucky not to get the Conqueror there, but somebody else took him down. Right, so the enemy are down to... 11 tank... I'm um, sorry. They're down to four tanks left. He's going after this uh, T-34-3. Ramming speed! Don't spare the horses, Jeeves! Bang! <laughs> Mind, I think he came off just as badly as the uh, the uh, T-34-3 did there. Oh, and there's, there's the beauty prize. 
artillery. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Oh, he's disappeared back on that uh, slope. And he's drowned himself. Wow, what a tosser. Oh, well. GG, great game. Really good game. So unsurprisingly, that was an ace tanker game. He got spotter medal. He got hand of God. What's that? For receiving damage from at least four enemy vehicles. Okay. Uh, shell proof. Fire for effect. And high caliber, of course. On his team, he finished top on base XP. 4,394 damage. One kill only for 1,362 base XP. Very, very nice job. He bounced a lot of shots. So how much did he bounce? Uh, he fired 15 shots. Uh, he took, he hit with 12 of them and penned with 10 of those uh, for that 4,000 damage. Quite a lot of it was long range. So that's a fine this with the T20, T10. It's got a very accurate gun for a Russian gun. Um, I really like it. It's one of my favourite tanks, actually. Um, don't play it as much as I should do. Um, he took nine hits, three of which penned and six didn't, for 2,540 damage. It felt like a lot more when he was up against that uh, Tiger II hull, or carcass. It, he, he seemed to be bouncing shells all over the place, but uh, it was actually only six of them. It felt like about 12. But anyway, still 2,500 damage blocked. Got himself into a really nice position, apart from when that uh, IS-3 flanked him. Um, he was pretty safe, apart from the odd shot that went through. Um, he could hold a long time and he did 6,000 assistance damage that's because he was so advanced he was he was spotting things for his team to then absolutely muller so great game he doesn't run a premium count still made a healthy profit on that for a standard tier 9 tank generally tier 9s and tier 10s you lose money on but he made money uh, 63,000 credits um, total in um, sorry gross um, and even after costs, he made a 31,000 profit on that battle. Very nice indeed. If he hadn't been running a premium, that would have been almost double. Well, it would have been double that, 62,000. So there you go. And as we said, 1,360 XP would have been just over 2,000 if he'd been running a premium account. Really, really good game. But he's not finished because he sent me another T10 game. So let's go and have a look at that. Okay, so this time round, uh, Noob is on Tundra. Probably one of my least favourite maps. Um, I suppose because I just don't really know where to go other than either onto the hill or onto the, the other side of the one line. So it's probably just me being a complete noob. Anyway, he is heading for the hill. As I say, the beauty... Oh, police are coming to get me. Um, as I said in the last video, the beauty of the, one of the many beauties of the T10, whoa, look at the air on that, <laughs> are you, whoa, nice job, uh, one of the beauties on the T20, <laughs> I keep saying T20, it's inflation, T10s is its um, fantastic speed, for a heavy it moves very, very quickly, you can see we're keeping up with the mediums here, um, our lights have taken the uh, hill ahead of the um, Head of the enemy tanks are, um, oh dear, what's going to happen here? Can he get a side? Oh, risky, risky. Well, 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 why is it whenever I do that, I get hit in the side? But it was actually the TVP that took the shot there. Anyway, so he's made the hill. He's up here with the mediums and the lights. And now he can get this big ass gun firing to good effect. Oh, there's an AFK. Is that AFK? Oh, one shot. Boom. Good night. Took a, took a shot from the scout. But he's already got one kill. One shot, one kill. Nice. Uh, oh, sorry. Two shots. His buddy here is uh, blocking his shot, but never mind. He finishes up. Good job. It looks like... Oh, there's a VK trying to run right through the middle of the map. Really? Ferdinand takes a big hit and he's really thinking twice about life. Don't know what he's thinking over there, really don't. Why are you side on when the guys are on the hill? And he's gone. This this t enemy team is just being absolutely rumple stomped. Um, only four to two, but they've but the uh, noobs team hold all the aces. They've got the hill. They've got the one two line. Um, now the only thing is the enemy have got a couple of tanks in noob's base, but really 
While this hill's held, it's really... Oh, blimey, noob, you're only on. <laughs> Just push that guy out the way, why don't you? To be fair, he should not be getting involved there. So, uh, yeah, to, once you, if you hold the hill, it's really, really hard to hold the cap. He's going to have a go at the ST... Can he get a shot in the ST1? No, just... Just unable to get the gun down far enough. He's going to have to drop off virtually to hit this guy. He wants... Ah, oh, nice shot into the turret, but he falls down in doing it. But he's got the speed to get back. Can he... Back to the cap. Um, that uh, ISU... ISU... The IS-3A is not going to be a hold the, hold the cap. So... All new really needs to do is push this guy out. He's been spotted, so the IS knows he's coming. He pushes him around. Oh, somebody else is there. Oh, and he's got the butt of the, uh, the IS-3. IS-3's in real trouble now. He's got an auto loader up his ass, and then Noob's going to finish him off. Oh, no. Fire did it. Okay. Actually, that was artillery. Wow, that was a bit brave. Now, look, he's left the hill, and the hill's completely fallen. Well, that's extraordinary. Well, what a turnaround. Really thought that, his, that Noob's team had this one completely in the bag. <laughs> and instead of being winning this game convincingly, which they were, they're now actually in danger of losing it. Enemy, however, are all concentrated on the hill, which makes it a little bit easier to know where to go for. There's no artillery anymore, which also makes it a lot easier. I don't know what he's complaining about there. You've not got the gun depression to go over the top here. This is a really awkward situation. Really awkward. He's trying to get... Oh, but he took a big hit from the... You can tell the i 3 is on sale, or was on sale, because there's a lot of them around on this battle. Now he's got himself finally into a position where he can use that uh, gun to good effect. He's aiming for the... Oh, nice shot straight through the front plate. I thought it was uh, momentarily he was aiming for the little um, hatch on the top of the IS. There he is again aiming for it. If he can put it through there, didn't manage to. So he's waiting for a reload. He's pushing back up again. Takes another shot from the AMX, but he can put one right through the AMX's turret. His team are capping, which is just ridiculous. Why are they well, I suppose the game is still fairly tight. I can forgive them a little bit. Right, the I, the AMX is down. That uh, IS-3 is side-scraping really well. It's really up to Noob to take him out because nobody else is going to be able to do it. He hits the flat, the sort of squared corner of the IS. And you get another one into there. He's going to push. They're going to, all going to push. Here we go. There we go. He's got him down. T-10. Next one to go. He missed the shot there, didn't he? No, he didn't. Okay. So that's a good job. Uh, oh, and the enemy have reset the cap, so that's even better. He's done 4,000 damage that we know of. Uh, got a fistful of kills. Seven kills. Very, very nice. Looking for his eighth. And actually, to be fair, the, um, the RU251 saying give him the kill, which is very nice. But it looks like the 54 Lightweight has no intention of giving himself up. So, he hasn't used any premium rounds. M103 is saying, can I, can I ram you from a mission? Oh yeah, oh, of course you can. <laughs> oh dear, I love it. All this is going to go in the next patch because you won't be able to talk to the enemy team. So, yeah. Oh, there's our friend. He's back over that on far side. There's no gonna Oh he's gonna he's never gonna get a shot there. Never gonna get the shot there. Looks like it's a mass chase to <laughs> get the lightweight down. And Noob reckons that uh, he's gonna run south and I tend to agree. You say mine, mine, give me that sh give me give me the kill. The T uh, fifty four lightweight is still up in that top corner. Is he gonna get the kill? 
Oh, and the 54 takes out the Air Max. <laughs> but the 54 is still up against a couple of well, the heavy and the medium. Oh, look, Noob's got a shot. Can he take him? Can he take him? Oh, and oh my goodness, what a shot that was. What a shot to finish him off. Good job. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so, um... But Noob has a bit of a brutal way of driving as you saw up on the hill there. He, he doesn't stand for any nonsense. The Air Max, who was in his way, he just pushed him out of the way. Nearly pushed him off the cliff. But that said, that was a fantastic game. Fantastic game. It look, He said uh, it's not easy in that, but I thought he meant, when I first saw the, this game come through, I thought he meant easy win. Um, but actually, it was far from an easy win. His team looked like they were winning it easily. They took the one line and they took the hill and it was all going nicely. And then suddenly, when the enemy got into their cap, they all uh, flooded down to retake the cap for, uh, from just a couple of tanks and left the hill pretty much unguarded. And the enemy tank took full advantage and captured it. And um, it, it did look very hairy at one point. Very hairy indeed. But um, hey... When you've got uh, a T10 that's on fire like that was, not literally, obviously, uh, you've got a chance. So he came out again, Ace Tanker. He got Hand of God again. He got Demolition Expert. He got Duelist, Fire for Effect. He got the um, always desired Radley Waters Medal for killing eight or nine enemy tanks. He got High Calibre and Top Gun, of course. Uh, finished up, well, surprise, surprise, top of the team, just shy 5,000 damage. Oh, mate, you've got to try harder. Nearly 5,000, not quite. Oh well, and 8 kills. 1,342 base XP. Fired 19 shots, hit with 14 of them and penned with 13. Again, a fair proportion was at long range. This this gun can fire at range. It's, it's you know pretty good. He's probably got a very, very good crew in this tank. But even so, it does have an ability, unlike a lot of Russian tanks, to fire at reasonable range. He took six shots, uh, four of which penned, and two didn't. Not as much bouncing going on as in the previous one. Um, not as much assistance either. He did 6,000 assistance last time. He only did 183 this time. Uh, 45,000 credits with a non-premium account. Gave him 12,500 12 profit after costs. Would have been 35,000 if he'd had a premium account. And as I say, 1,342 XP would have been just over 2,000 uh, otherwise with a premium. So there you go. That's Noob Dude 01 driving the fabulous Tier 9 Russian heavy tank, the T10. Um, I think it's a great tank. Really enjoy playing it. I will probably go and play it now just because I've been inspired by those games. What is for certain is I won't play as well as Noob did. If you've got a video that you uh, would like me to, or a game that you'd like me to feature on the channel, please upload it to the What Replay site. Um, send me the link. Uh, don't send me the whole file. Just send me the link and a brief description of why you think it's a good game uh, to gamerdom13 at gmail.com. I promise to have a look at it, and if I think it's something that's going to be fun and interesting for the channel, um, I'll upload it and do a video on it. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider giving it a like, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Um, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your games. Have fun. Remember, it's just a game. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Game it on.